Hello and welcome to this video, where we will be discussing the book Epistle to the Romans. This book is a letter that was written by the Apostle Paul to the Romans in the mid-first century AD. It is considered to be one of the most influential books in the New Testament and has had a profound impact on Christian theology and doctrine. In this video, we will be providing a summary of the key themes and messages of the book, so let's get started. Chapter 1 The Book of Romans starts with an introduction in which Paul addresses the Roman church and expresses his desire to visit them. He then moves on to discuss the sinful nature of humanity and how everyone is in need of salvation. In Chapter 2, Paul addresses the Jewish people and warns them against being judgmental of the Gentiles. He reminds them that they too are sinners and that God will judge everyone impartially. Chapter 3 is a continuation of Paul's discussion on the sinfulness of humanity. He emphasizes that no one is righteous, not even the Jews who were given the law. He then introduces the concept of justification by faith, which is the idea that people are saved by their faith in Jesus Christ rather than by their own good deeds. In chapter 4, Paul uses the example of Abraham to illustrate his point about justification by faith. He explains that Abraham was justified by his faith in God and not by his works. This is important because it shows that the concept of justification by faith is not a new one, but has been present since the beginning of the Jewish faith. Chapter 5 is where Paul discusses the benefits of justification by faith. He explains that because of our faith in Jesus Christ, we have peace with God and access to His grace. He also discusses the concept of original sin, which is the idea that all humans are born with a sinful nature. In chapter 6, Paul addresses the idea that some people may use the concept of grace as an excuse to sin. He emphasizes that just because we are saved by grace does not mean we can continue to sin. He encourages believers to live their lives in a way that is pleasing to God and to be slaves to righteousness rather than sin. Chapter 7 is where Paul discusses the struggle that believers face with sin. He uses the example of his own life to illustrate how even as a believer, he still struggles with sin. He emphasizes that it is not the law that saves us, but our faith in Jesus Christ. Chapter 8 is considered by many to be the climax of the book. In this chapter, Paul discusses the role of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer. He emphasizes that the Holy Spirit gives believers the power to live a life that is pleasing to God. He also reassures believers that nothing can separate them from the love of God. Chapters 9-11 are a bit different from the rest of the book, as they focus primarily on the Jewish people and their relationship with God. Paul discusses the fact that even though many of the Jews rejected Jesus Christ, God still has a plan for them. He emphasizes that God's plan for the Jews and the Gentiles is ultimately the same, and that both groups are saved by their faith in Jesus Christ. In chapter 12, Paul transitions from discussing theology to practical application. He encourages believers to offer their bodies as living sacrifices to God and to use their gifts and talents to serve others. He also emphasizes the importance of living in harmony with one another. In chapter 13, Paul discusses the role of government and encourages believers to submit to their governing authorities unless they are commanded to do something that goes against God's will. He emphasizes the importance of obeying the law and paying taxes. 14 to 15 address the issue of food and drink and the observance of certain days. Paul encourages believers to accept one another and not judge each other based on these matters. He emphasizes that what is important is that each believer is fully convinced in their own mind. Chapter 16 in the final chapter of Romans, Paul concludes his letter by sending greetings to various people in the Roman church. He also warns the believers to watch out for those who cause divisions and to stay away from false teachers. In conclusion, the Book of Romans is a powerful and influential piece of Christian literature. It addresses important theological concepts such as justification by faith and the role of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer. It also provides practical advice on how to live a life that is pleasing to God and how to relate to one another as members of the body of Christ. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope that it has been informative and helpful. Say what you wanna say to me now